that broke out between the terror group and also the security forces in Anantnag area of Kashmir has resulted in fatal casualty of one commanding officer and one major of 19 Rafia rifles along with one DSP rank officer of Jammu Kashmir police. This is an incident that has happened after a long time that we have lost one commanding officer or an officer of colonel rank. In Jammu and Kashmir, we have seen in the past that how focus has been shifted from Kashmir to Jammu as the attacks were carried out by the shadow organization of several Pakistan-based terror groups in south of Pir Panjal range, which is Rajori and Punch specifically. In April month, we saw that how an attack was carried out on army truck where we had several of our Jawans who lost their life. Again, other than that, we had an ambush attack on para-SF soldiers where we lost a number of our Jawans. And now, in Anantnag, where on a specific input, the commanding officer along with major and some police officials went on to that particular spot and received heavy fire. Now, there are theories going around on the involvement of the same group that carried out attack in Punch area of Jammu. But as of now, while we are talking at this point in time, operation is still on. In fact, a contact has been re-established where security forces are there and there has been a, a, a story and in fact news of a gunfight that is happening between terrorists and a security forces. In Jammu and Kashmir specifically, we have seen in the past that how several attempts were made to limit the infiltration attempts. We have the AIOS system and in fact the ceasefire understanding between India and Pakistan that happened in 2021. After that, we have seen that how the infiltration attempts have gone down. But even after that, we have terrorists coming from the other side and this is the reason why we still have uh, activities like what we have seen in the last few months where an attack was carried out on an army truck and in fact several IEDs have been found by the security forces. On one hand, we have people who are advocating for peace. On the other hand, we have these terror groups who are taking advantage of dense jungle and also several sort of communication apps that they are using regularly and are in touch with their handlers. In fact, there are a number of organizations that are involved in these attacks and these organizations have changed their strategy as well. In the past, we have seen that how they were in fact claiming some sort of videos and were putting out editing videos to change the narrative and to run their own narrative. They are somewhere trying to push the agenda that they are from Jammu and Kashmir region only. But the fact, as, fact is, and in fact, the security forces have categorically said that there is an involvement of foreign terrorists. Yes, local support can be there, but these terrorists are from uh, either Pakistan or from somewhere else, and specifically Pakistan, because the kind of uh, modus operandi that we have seen, and in fact, uh, the kind of trap that they are laying, because we have seen uh, that how in the Punch area, uh, attacks were carried out, and in fact, in this particular area, in Anantnag, how a specific int was received by uh, army as well as uh, Jammu Kashmir police. Now it's a matter of investigation whether or not uh, uh, the source uh, in this uh, particular case uh, misleaded the officers. But as of now, we have received fatal casualties where we have lost uh, one commanding officer, one colonel, a rank officer of Rashtri Rifle. In fact, uh, uh, the colonel and the major, both officers were decorated officers. They were awarded with Sena Medal and they have lost their life in this particular encounter that broke out after a specific input given by one source.